Ever wondered how to make the perfect Moravian sugar cake at home? Imagine a sweet, buttery dessert that has been cherished by the Moravian community in the Czech Republic for generations. Picture the satisfaction of creating this culinary masterpiece in your own kitchen, the tantalizing aroma filling your home. This isn't just a cake. It's a piece of history, a taste of tradition, and a testament to the joy of home baking. So without further ado, let's dive into the process of making this delightful dessert. To bring this delicious cake to life, you'll need a few specific ingredients. Let's start with three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one package of active dry yeast, and half a cup of milk. You'll also need a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of unsalted butter, and two large eggs. And to give our cake its unique texture, we're adding half a cup of instant potato flakes. Now that we have all our ingredients ready, we can move on to the preparation process. The first step in crafting our Moravian sugar cake is to prepare the dough. Now this is where the magic begins. We start off by combining the yeast and milk. You want to whisk these two together until the yeast is fully dissolved. Now let's sweeten things up a bit. Add in the sugar and butter, blending them into the mix. But we're not done just yet. It's time to incorporate the flour and potato flakes. You want to add these gradually, giving each addition time to fully integrate into the mixture. This process of careful mixing will ensure a smooth, even dough. Now get ready to roll up your sleeves. Kneading the dough is next. Work it until it's got that perfect smooth and elastic texture. This might take a little elbow grease, but it's all part of the fun. Once the dough is ready, it's time to let it rest and rise. This is where patience is key, but trust me, the wait will be worth it. With our dough risen and ready, we can now assemble and bake our cake. Start by pressing the dough gently into a greased baking pan. Try to spread it evenly so it cooks uniformly. Now comes the fun part. We're going to sprinkle a generous layer of sugar over the dough. This will caramelize during baking and give our cake that signature sweetness. Next, we'll dot the surface with butter. These little pats of butter will melt into the cake, creating pockets of richness that make every bite a delight. Now, it's time for the oven. Set your oven to a moderate temperature. Around 350 degrees Fahrenheit should do the trick. Slide the pan in and let it bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. The cake should turn a lovely golden brown and your kitchen will fill with the most heavenly aroma. After a short wait, your homemade Moravian sugar cake will be ready to enjoy. Let's quickly recap the steps involved in making the Moravian sugar cake. First, we gathered our ingredients. Yeast, sugar, flour, butter, mashed potatoes, milk, and of course, plenty of brown sugar for that distinctive topping. Next, we prepared the dough. We combined the yeast, sugar, and warm milk, left it to bubble, then mixed in the mashed potatoes, melted butter, and flour. We gave the dough time to rise, doubling in size, a testament to our patience and anticipation. Moving on, we assembled the cake. We flattened the dough and placed it in a greased baking pan, making wells to fill with a generous amount of brown sugar and dotted it with bits of butter. The final step was to bake our cake to golden perfection, the aroma filling our kitchen with sweet promise. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to making the perfect Moravian sugar cake at home. Happy baking.